our development organization, our research and development group, does a um, ongoing monitoring of trends, global trends. So not only what's happening domestically, but also what's happening around the world. And what they saw was that they were seeing double-digit growth in this small little category of gluten-free. And so they brought that forward to our leadership team and kind of said, hey, we're seeing some growth in both of our health um, trend analysis as well as in our baked good analysis. That was the first piece. Um, and I think the second piece that was really powerful is we had some very passionate leaders that when we heard the stories of people who um, could no longer have gluten in their diet and the fact that they weren't having birthday cakes anymore and they weren't having shared moments of a plate of cookies or brownies with their families and friends, um, there was just this feeling that our mission as Betty Crocker is really to deliver sweet moments to everyone. And we take that quite you know, um, passionately and felt like, hey, we're not really delivering to everyone if these consumers who are eating gluten-free diets can no longer have Betty Crocker. So I think it was the, um, the insights around um, the trends that we were seeing coupled with these passionate leaders that then put us into the actual development phase. And at that phase, we did quite a bit of research actually talking, did a national survey, talking to these consumers and understanding their tastes and preferences that ultimately led us into the development of the Betty Crocker gluten-free desserts.